This is Johan Gamble. We're back playing Nino Kuni. Last time we uh, fought Shadara, but he put us in like this weird Eye of the Storm Final Fantasy 9 thing. And now we're here and um, we need. We met uh, Drippy's mom and now we need to get her to giggle so we can go inside her belly to see why she's not poop, uh, producing any more babies. I almost said pooping for some reason. Those guys. I like the one in blue. So cute design. Rubbish they are these days, man. How long is this going to go on for? This is embarrassing. Oh, jeez. Looks like someone's in a slump. Smiley and Shirley. Drip it! You have two rings on your ears. Espionage. <laughs> His lips, they're all curled up. That's funny. Really? You're the one who couldn't make a bunch of. F you, you're the one who have bad humor. Hmm. <gasps> They're broken hearted. Trust you the spotted dribby boy. Proper shop you are. Pieces of art. I like when Swain throws a little fit. Swain, you have horrible posture. You're gonna grow a hunch, I swear. <laughs> Sorry, no can do. Tidy. Okay, let's go gather pieces of heart. I mean, I'm sorry, pieces of art. So yeah, you just have to go gather around. Just go to the lighted up things on the mini map. And actually, this is where a lot of those useless spells we have actually come in handy. Um, they want us to do like little things with them. Um, so yeah, sweep the floor. This is the only time we ever use Broom Broom. It is never used again. I cannot think of another time. And with that, we get a piece of art. And that's, that's a lot of the spells we never use are just used now. It's crazy. I mean, I, I guess it's good that they're being used, but it's weird. Okay, so I'm guessing I have to use, um... Cooking Growth? Yep, looks like I'm right. Two by each made their lifespan shorter. Alright. Uh... What do you need? Legendary Drippy. Make him a blush. Okay, a broken jar. Okay. It's kind of cool just going around, though. I mean, this is really easy, though. It's, it's kind of cool. Like, you're helping everybody out and using your spells. And Whoa, was that Grimace right there? God, dude, close your mouth. You're going to catch a bug with it. I think there's, like... I'm not sure if there's, if there's exactly eight people or if there's more. It looks like there's more than eight people on the map. Ooh, this bird. This bird's important. Um, I don't think for the um, art, but you do get a, a spell from him. Uh, oh, this is where we're supposed to get the levitate, I believe, from Horus. Yep, we were supposed to get this from Horus, but he never gave it to us. He said he was supposed to. Okay, well, let's look at it real quick. So yeah, Levitate just makes you go off the ground, and I really have no idea what the purpose of it is other than that. You... It doesn't make you avoid, like, attacks or anything. Oh, here it is. 
float gracefully and glide through the air. This spell releases a wizard from gravity's clutches, allowing him to float weightlessly through the air. Of course, no human can ever escape the ground permanently, and the time and distance for which one can float are determined by one's magical abilities. Many wizards have forgotten this, often with disastrous consequences. Oh, jeez. So I think we can use it now to make ourselves float about. Where is it, though? Oh, cannot use it here. So yeah, it just makes you lift off the ground for a short period of time. I don't know why, though. It doesn't do anything. Hmm. Mommy, he wants something heavy, or he wants it to not be heavy? Um, okay, well, let's try burden first. Um. Mommy? Okay, okay, I guess he wants something lighter then. So, um. There we go, levitate. I mean, I guess it's used here, but you can also use it. To float around on the dungeons, I believe. All right, and what do you need? Hmm. Uh, I guess I could just throw a fireball at you. Oh my gosh, I was right. Just set your face on fire. There you go. You're no longer cold, but now you're in uh, huge amounts of pain. <laughs> I'll just set your house on fire. No worries, you won't be cold anymore. You'll just be homeless. Hmm, decent food. I guess I could do, um... Uh, where is it? Secret ingredient? There you go, I don't know what I made you, but I hope you like it. That's about... Uh, how many pieces of art do we have? Okay, so it looks like there's exactly eight pieces we can get. Mm. Pop this jar open. Oh, um, how do I do this one? Pop this jar open. I'm not sure. Is it puppet strings? No. Uh, spring lock. Okay, I guess I spring the, pu uh, the, the jar's lock. Pretty sure a jar doesn't have a lock, but whatever. <laughs> a pickled egg. What is that poster up there? Where'd he go? Where'd that poster go? I saw a funky poster. There it is. <laughs> I like the posters. Alright, let's go talk to the weapons person. Oh, I keep forgetting I need to put the weapons on like monsters. Okay, this one I know wants burden. Remembered, I remembered it. He has the little crow hat on. Nice, that should be enough pieces of heart. Cavity Club. Really quick though, let's put those weapons on before I forget. Uh, Sacred Sword, wow, that makes you go up a lot. But what about you? Can you use it? Oh, whoa, it actually makes you go down? Hmm. Oh, that's right, he's been using the crappy sword still. And, uh, what about, what else did I get? Okay, that's an axe. Need to get a better axe. Oh, you don't have anything. Let's give this to you. I'm gonna need to buy some new stuff. I'll be doing a lot of off-screen training, so I'll be getting money, so I'll do that. Okay, we have the stuff you want. Look at that little flower. Pr proper legend, man. Hopefully, we as heck, man. I didn't know drip. I didn't know you knew a hot dookin. It's amazing, dripping. I feel better, man. Oh, we're different, all right. <laughs> Proper Miraculous. Miraculous? Alright, uh, let's just go ahead since uh, we have nothing else to do. Let's, uh... Yep. 
and take a journey to the ends of our innards. Sure, why not? We should be able to escape if we do go inside, so it shouldn't be a big deal. I just want to make sure we train because uh, there's a boss fight in there that actually gave me quite uh, a bit of trouble. Thank you, thank you. I'll do it, smiley and cheery. I'll do. Glad you got a full outfit tonight. It's lovely. In it though, it's like a dream. This is. In it though. In it though. Hey, speaking of dreams, I've always had a bit of a dream myself, you know. Oh, nice, nice link, man. What it is is, see, always want to run a little weapon shop. I have a weapon shop, eh? Well, I don't know why you're bringing it up in the middle of a show, but sounds like an all right idea, that does. Ain't it, though? Hey, do you fancy doing a quick practice with me? Huh? Practice? Yeah, man. I'll be the shopkeeper, see? And you, um, a zookeeper, right? And, uh, well, all your animals have run away and your wife's left you. Oh, yeah. Make it easy for me, why don't you? I'm not a flipping professional actor, am I, you div? Come on, man, serious now. What do you want me to be? Uh, a lion tamer? Do how is that any flipping easy, yeah? Can I just be my flipping self? Oh, no one wants to see that, man. No, I know you again. You're trying to give me something hard to do so you look better in it, though. Nah, man. I just thought you'd like a nice juicy roll to get your teeth into, ain't it, though? Juicy roll, huh? Well, I may not be a professional, but my widow Twanky's pretty legendary. Right on. So, I'm the customer at your weapon shop, right? And you were the proprietor of said establishment. All right, give us a moment. Ba 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 ma 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 ka 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 ka. Get on with it, man. And knock knock out do cha ching. Clear it off, cha ching. What the heck was that, man? We slammed the door in my flipping face. We're not open yet, are we? Not open yet, but flipping out of here, Will. All right, we're open now. Oh, you are, right. <laughs> knock knock, cha ching. How do? How do? I uh, just wanted to look at what weapons you got up here, innit, though? Sorry, man, that's next door but one. What? No, it's flipping not. It's my shop. Yeah, you a weapon shop. You can't go telling me what I sell to my own shop. But you said yourself you wanted it to be a flipping weapon shop. It is a flipping weapon shop. Give me strength, man. All right, all right. Sorry, man. I'll do it properly now, I promise. It's a weapon shop. Good. Selling weapons. Exactly. Righto. Knock, knock. Cha-ching, how do? What weapons you got for you, then? What weapons you after, exactly? Well, I don't know, do I? Uh, what about, you know, one of them huge, great, choppy numbers? Yeah, a proper massive one of them. That's what I want. Uh, I'm afraid I can't help you. Huh? You can't help me? You're the flipping shopkeeper, are you? I am sorry, sir. Huh? But that is just too big an axe. Flipping <laughs> axe, I was ripping. Made this not happen at all. I suppose it's too much. I'm not gonna lie, I didn't get any of that. <laughs> I, I didn't crack a smile through that. I don't know if it's just me. I mean, I like... I don't know. I didn't get the humor in their jokes. It just seemed like they were talking to each other, but whatever. At least it made Drippy's mom laugh, and now we can go inside. Oh, oh, there's hilarious! Oh, 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 She's laughing like a flipping dream, tidy. Drippy, man, we're all set. Right, do you lot all aboard? Aboard? Oh, Here I go, boys. Let the mission to Mam begin. Hey, one of you give us a light, will you, man? Launch command received. Launch your hat. Hold on to your hats. We have ignition. Three, two, one, blast off! <laughs> Alright, we are in the belly. Well, we should be. Oh, here we are. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Look at you, Drippy. Is everyone okay? I think so. All here in one piece? One pile more like. All right, no need to get in a tiz. It's the only way to get in here, isn't it? Oh, this takes me back. Look around you, my friends. This year's mummy's tummy where it all started. Oh, it's so cute. The little sun has a face. 
And there's little clouds. Oh, that is adorable. I can't wait to see what the babies look like. I mean, I already know what they look like, and that's why I'm saying... Oh, I love this. Look at the little drawings on the floor. I love kid drawings. Oh, and the little chickens. It's kind of creepy how it's wiggly, but... Oh, and the little drawings. And look, there's a little picture from Drippy. There's two pictures. There's one down there, and there's one here. Oh, it's so cute. <laughs> okay, let's go in the sunflower room. What the hell? Is that a monster? What's a monster doing in here? What are you doing in here? Alright, monster. How dare you hurt... How dare you interrupt these little babies and their learning no education, stupid dinkies. I'm gonna kick the crap out of you. How dare you. So, yep, looks like there's monsters invading, uh, Drippy's mom's stomach. Why is there monsters in here, though? How did she get those in her stomach? Did she eat something? Or, uh, I, I guess, I don't know, maybe she accidentally was sleeping with her mouth open and these monsters just kind of wandered in. They're not very strong, though. The boss here, though, actually can be tricky, so you're going to want to be make sure that you're a decent level before you fight it. Which I'm going to make sure to do. There you go. You should be- Oh my gosh, look at it. It's a little egg. So cute. Literally. Proper nasty. I'll be a monkey's uncle. The fake hair. Oh, I will not let that happen. No one is going to hurt these little adorable egg things. <laughs> That's cold. Yeah, probably be safer if we keep him with us. I love that there's pictures of Drippy everywhere. The Little Lee is following you now. Alright, come on, Little Lee. Alright, to the Rose Room. That's a tulip. Those are not roses. This is the Staff Room. This is how you can get out. And there's also a healing but Oh god, it's the pot monster. Oh jeez, I'm afraid. All right, it was just more of the. It was just some airheads in that weird uh, seal thing, and we got more little leaves. Oh, look at the little ball pit. That's cute. Um, did tulip room? Okay, tulip rooms this way. It's kind of creepy though how all this stuff is squishing. How does she get all this stuff in her though? Oh, it's a uh, hooray! All right, little goblin thing leveled up, so that's cool. Um, anyways, okay, there's more of those. I think we almost have all of them. The daffodil. Is this the daffodil? No, it's the vial room. Sorry. Um, that's the rose. Okay, so there's only two rooms left. Doesn't look like a daffodil. Looks like the blue flower we've picked up from. Oh, hey, this is a new monster we have not fought yet. Uh, Plessy. Okay. You're going down, Plessy. She's war cry. Yeah, thanks to that new sword, Mr. Surman is doing a lot more damage. He's definitely... Yeah, so look at that. Bam. Doing almost 30 damage. But he also, also has a uh, war cry, so that helps too. But nonetheless. Nice, doing 40 damage now. Love it. Get him. I don't know why he does that weird backup motion. It takes so much time, and then... He doesn't attack. Esther, bring out a... Do I have you on the right settings? Yeah, I do, but for some reason it doesn't seem like... Well, say I didn't want to hit him with my one. It doesn't seem like... You have Sig Sigmund. You can use him just to physically attack. Oh, I want to go in the tent. No. I wanted to go in the tent. Alright, no level up this time. Alright. Got the little littlies. Toity. Alright. Come on, little guys. Bounce, bounce, bounce. Follow me. 
Whoa, it's a big whale. Let's heal. Um, crap. That's gonna... That's dangerous. I'm gonna need these for my... <laughs> that whale is really annoying. Alright. Off I go! Blubba lubba. Alright, we beat him. That wasn't too bad. I got a gold glimpse. That made it a lot easier. And that should be all of them. Look at them. They're so tiny. You rescued all the littlies. Blimey, rhymey, tiny, tiny. <laughs> it's to remind them that they could slip and slide in the banana skins of life in there. <laughs> That's funny. We're not gonna do that though because mainly there's a boss down there. So we're gonna go to the faculty room, which will allow us to leave. I mean, we'll leave without, uh, the, the little leaves will still be in here. Um, but it will allow us to leave, and it will allow me to do some off-screen training that I want to do before, um, uh, <laughs> little, way too high, um, do some off-screen training so that I'm ready for the boss. And also buy some new equipment with some money. So yeah. So um, I'm just going to end the video here. And we will go ahead and take on the boss in the next part. So this is the new M Gamble. Thanks for watching. See you next time as we continue playing more Nino Kuni Wrath of the White Witch. Okay. Bye then.